what's going on now shavini here and welcome back to my channel today is thursday it is september the 26th at 7 32 i am parked for the day i'm parked at this mom and pops type place this is chevron but you know it's not really a chevron if you get what i'm saying But yes, off of 22, I drove, what, five hours today? That's not bad. It's not bad. I'm an hour away from my destination, which is exactly how I planned it. But let me tell y'all what's been going on, okay? So yesterday, I was just in Florida. I had a drop-off in McClanny, Florida at the Walmart DC. Y'all. <laughs> After I parked into the dock... I had to detach from the trailer I was crooked a little bit so I wasn't sure if I was in the dock good enough so I kept going back there to check because I didn't want them to tell me I had to reattach and you know move the trailer so I just kept going back and checking I made sure that the little piece that be landing on top of the trailer or landing in the trailer was able to fit while I was down there I was bending down in the back of the trailer hit my head i thought i slashed it open i hit it on the license plate i'm telling you it swelled up real fast it's a little knot there right now i don't know if you can see it and i guess it broke some skin because it's a small scab on top y'all this is exactly how it was when i was out there i was trying to I was like feeling underneath where the little dock thing was and i think on the other trailer the license plate was a little closer because there's no way I got this close, but it was like right here and out. I know when my mom see this part, she gonna be like, girl, what? What you doing out there? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm working. I'm working. <laughs> but anyways, but um, after I left there, I parked for the night. I went on over to Jacksonville the next morning. I had to pick up at the craft it was a live load i got there went inside the office and she was like oh you could just park that trailer over there to the side and the one you got to pick up is in dock 33 i was like hold up i thought this was a live load and she was like nah it's a preload fine with me I drop a hook i'm good to go so i hooked up to the trailer started doing my pre-trip i noticed that the fuel tank on the trailer for the reefer doesn't have a cap um what my first thought was to take the cap off the trailer i just dropped off and put it on this one but i was like i don't want nobody thinking that i never did a pre-trip on that trailer and that maybe i'm the one that lost the cap so i was like no nah, i don't want to do that and plus you know the tropical storm was coming through and which is now a hurricane and it was supposed to be raining a lot and i didn't want the water to get inside the tank so i was like let me call my dispatcher i called him which i really didn't want to do because he be acting like um I'm annoying him and you know what I'm saying mm, mm, mm. anyways <laughs> I called him and he was like yeah just take the cap off the trailer you just dropped off and then we'll just deal with that later hey that's what you say fine cool with it so I did just that oh and here's the footage of me driving from that location Hey y'all, y'all see me running? Oh my gosh, I realized that I don't have my seal. I'm trying to remember if she even gave me a seal while I was in the office. I don't remember having the seal. Maybe I dropped it on the ground, but that's why I'm running to the office to see what's what. So apparently I must have dropped it on the ground because the little yard dog, I don't know what they call themselves, yard jockeys, whatever. He found it on the ground and he turned it in. And I was like, thank you so much. <laughs> 
Then the lady at the guard shack trying to be funny, she gonna say, are you trying to lose weight? Cause all you had to do is pull your truck up a little more and then walk over. Ma'am, I am cool with running back and forth. It would have took more time to get in a truck to pull backwards than pull forward, than to just run. You know, I don't mind, I'm okay. Thank you though. went to the pilot that was right down the street i scaled my load i was off the first time just off like a 1200 pounds i slid my tandems two slots and i was perfect and then i made my way to georgia i stopped at the pilot in valdosta i worked out a little bit then i took my shower if y'all didn't see that short of me working out check it out right after this video i took my shower then i made my way to my mom's exit i parked at the walmart and then the next day she picked me up we went to walmart because i needed batteries for my flashlight and then while i was inside i don't know if y'all know this or not but walmart been stepping it up when it comes to the clothes i don't well the men i'm not sure but for the women they've been stepping it up i saw a cute top and some bottoms i snatched that up real quick i wasn't able to try it on because the fitting room was closed because it was super early in the morning around like what six o'clock six thirty so I wasn't able to try it on. I'm finna try it on for y'all right after I'm done talking. Just get, just give me a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, and right after that, I asked her to take me to Publix because I needed some more walnut milk. So after I grabbed my walnut milk, I was like, you know what? I don't feel like cooking today. So what am I eat? This is what I grabbed, y'all. Yes, I got me some seafood salad, some crackers, and I got me some coconut yogurt. Vanilla flavored coconut yogurt. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I got that. I never tried that yogurt before. I Hopefully it's good. But the seafood salad from Publix, good. All I have to do is pick out those uh, cut up bell peppers or celery. I don't know. I think it's a mix of both. I love bell pepper. I love celery, but not and my seafood salad so yeah I'll, i gotta pick that out so after that she dropped me off i made my way to mississippi like i said i did my little five hours y'all guess where i'm on my way to guess where i'm an hour away from memphis tennessee yes memphis i know some of y'all probably like okay memphis what's up what's the big problem i heard too many horror stories about memphis i'm talking about before i became a trucker during okay it was on the first 48 i don't think y'all hear me it was on the first 48 and when i was at the jackson mississippi terminal it was the girl saying be careful when you go to memphis because she was almost kidnapped twice out there twice <sighs> i mean i don't be getting out my truck at night but like dang and then one time my trainer told me he parked at a truck stop in Memphis one time. Somebody knocked on his door in the middle of the night. He didn't go to the door. And then the next morning he woke up. It was cops surrounding his truck and the truck next to him. To find out that the man that was in the truck next to him got killed. I watched a video the other night saying, don't stop at the Loves on Lamar Avenue. My brother confirmed that when I taught him yesterday. He said, yeah, as long as you don't stop at that Loves. Say less, I don't even want to stop or stay in Memphis. You hear me? That's why I'm parked an hour away. I planned this to the T. You hear me? I'm not, I'm not going to Memphis and staying in Memphis. It's an in and out. I don't know where my next low going to be. 
But as soon as I'm done with U.S. Foods, I'm out of there. You hear me? I'm gone. And I'm going to be right back here if I have to. I'm going to try to find the closest, safest parking area. But if not, I'm going to be right back here. I'm going to be back here. But yeah, <laughs> that's what's been going on. It's time to eat, y'all. Oh, Before I eat, let me try on the clothes because I got to eat. And while I eat... I gotta watch Inside Out Part 2. It's on Disney Plus. It came out yesterday. I saw Part 1 in theaters with my mom. I was supposed to watch Part 2 with my mom, but we're in two different places and I gotta see it. Like, I, I wanna see it right now. I'm not able to see Beetlejuice right now, so I gotta make up for it somewhere. Inside Out. I know it might be a little sad, but I'm prepared. Ah. But, anyways, let's get into this mini try on haul. Okay, y'all, so <laughs> this is how it looks. I kept my shirt on. The sleeves are a little too short for me. You know, if I'm like, hey, party over here, ain't nothing over there. Uh-uh. Even when I'm standing straight, like, it's just. So, these are the pants. Yeah, these are oversized. I try to give them a try. I like the look of them. The color is gorgeous. I love the, um, I always say G.I. Joe print. But what is camouflage print? I love that. And I love that the bottoms, it actually scrunch up. That's right up my alley. Um, I don't know. I like them. They're a little high waterish, but it can go. This is cute. I'm gonna keep these and they like corduroy a little bit. This is gonna be perfect for fall, perfect for winter. Yeah, I'll admit it. This try on haul did not go as planned. <laughs> it did not go as planned. I understand I didn't try on the clothes at the store, but my goodness. The pants, of course, I, like I said, I'm gonna keep them, but what's up with the top? What's up with the top? Yeah. I'm keeping these. my surround sound y'all I just have my GBL connected up here I just turned it on and my laptop hey hold on why it's not connecting let's figure it out let's play some hockey so many amazing things just walk through the door there's so much in store 